Yeah. Us in stereo here in the wonderful comfy chair in the, uh, in the studio. Uh, Frontline Assembly, if you didn't already know, the award-winning video group uh, won Best Independent Alternative. Alternative. Well, best Independent Alternative Video. Yeah. <laughs> and who should have got it, the group or the director? Um, I, I think everybody, really, because I think everybody had some sort of uh, input into it and ideas, you know, like we actually, I was shown some footage first and we actually wrote the song for the footage, which which I think is kind of unusual. Usually it's the other way around, you know. This is it so, here, right? Um, yep. And uh, also the lyrics were written to to the footage, so it made it really, you know, it really gelled it together. Usually it's the other way around, so I guess I think everybody should get credit. Yeah, there was a lot of uh, brainstorming between the, the, the us and the people involved in the video, and, and there's so many people involved in the whole thing. I mean, it's like it's a long list of people too. And probably the people in Japan as well. Yeah. <laughs> now, how old is the, how old is the movie? Um, I think it's about four, maybe four years old. Was it successful? Um, no, it actually never really got officially released till this year over here. And what did you see in it that caused you to use the footage? Oh, well, the imagery is excellent. The actual storyline is kind of hard to follow because it's all in Japanese, obviously, and even just visually, it's a little hard to follow the the details of the story, the basic idea you can make out, but it's just the, the, the imagery and the amount of work put into the smallest detail was something we found quite amazing. So you took the footage, I, I, every time I hear the story it's, it gets better, you took the footage mm -hmm. and then shot your own... Uh, we shot ourselves into it. Into it. Yeah, sort of like what we're doing right now. That's cool. And uh, I guess they, yeah, I, I think the, the producer that was his idea, like, and uh, the directors as well, and so I guess just using a really good camera, they they got to match it up pretty closely. So you can't really tell. I mean, most people just think that we're in the whole thing. Well, let's not lose the idea that this is also music as well. I mean, we're just talking about the visual. Yeah, I think I think it really did, like I say, again, like, writing the music to the video really made a big difference, uh, you know, versus us going to somebody with a song already and them trying to interpret the visuals to that. I think a lot of times, Video is actually, you know, I think when, you know, videos actually wreck songs because when people see, you know, like a video, then it changes their conception of what the song is about, you know, versus when you hear a song on the radio, you can really, in your own mind, create your own visuals of what it actually should be about. And a lot of directors will say, well, this is how it should look and this is what the song says, which a lot of times is really not the case. So I think this way it worked you know, hand in hand really well. Okay, two questions. I'm amazed at, uh, I'm constantly amazed at how popular your music and other groups making music like yours is in Europe as opposed to North America and especially back here in Canada. I mean, it, it is a big deal for you to play in on the continent. Well, actually, you know, like America, our sales in America are just as good as in, 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 uh, in Europe. I think maybe in Canada a little less, but then, you know, like again, it's the whole thing of the population factor, you know, like there isn't that many people here. But, you know, I mean, we played at 86th Street last time here and we sold it out, so I mean, I thought that for us, that was pretty decent. I mean, considering you get other, uh, you know, bands like Alice in Chains and, and they were sort of drawing the same amount of people, so I mean, I didn't think that was too bad. But... Okay, uh, we're going to, when we come back, we're going to talk to um, Intermix. You know these guys? Have you met them? Um, I, I, I've had the party. Yeah. yeah. I hear they're... they're They've been seen in a couple of punch-ups in town. <laughs> yeah, they've been, they've, uh, I mean, they weren't even big, you know, black afros and look kind of strange, you know, so, I don't know, but, uh, I think it's like they want to be frontline assembly and, they, well, we'll find out, we'll ask them directly, that's what we heard. Uh, in the meantime, let's play the video, okay? Okay. All right. We'll be back.